Hello everyone, and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I'm Clifton, and today we are doing another Saturday night gaming stream. Um, I appreciate... Donnie's calling me out for being late. I'm reading the chat here. I was trying to set it up where I could do a cross stream with Twitch. Ended up doing that, and it started like another live stream. So if y'all got a second notification, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're here, so we're good to go here. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do this on Twitch as well, but eh, I'll figure it out another time. But good to see y'all on this Saturday night. I'm really excited for tonight's stream. I have had these samples for a really long time, um, and I've never had a chance to try them until now. So I'm glad that I finally did this. So big shout out to our friend Jason Coates. Um, you've seen him in the chat, some other people on WhiskeyTube. He sent me these samples a good while back, back in November, actually. And I actually have not had a chance to try them. So I will be trying three different blended scotches from the 1970s and the 1980s. Um, so we have three different ones there. But you know what? I went the extra level for you guys because I love y'all. I went and bought the almost equivalent for each of these, the modern release. So we have the new Johnny Walker Black Label compared with Johnny Walker Black Label from the 1980s. I should have known with a green label. That was not going to work. <laughs> um, I have the new, I think this is pronounced Shiva's, Shiva's Regal. Now, this is only the 12 year. They do still actually make the specific release that we are doing tonight. We are doing the Royal Salute 21 year old. And this is from the late 70s. Um, so I do not have that exact bottle to try with it. So forgive me. That's a $180 bottle. <laughs> um, and we are also doing this one that I've never actually heard of ever. By the way, this bottle looks like it's straight from the 1970s. It's called the Dimple Pinch. Have y'all heard of this? It looks okay. The bottle, this shape, so weird. It's like a deflated like soccer ball. Um, but yeah, the bottle actually looks very similar to the one that they had in the 1970s because we have a sample of that too. So we're gonna try them side by side as we work through it tonight. But we are also playing a game that I just discovered actually. Um, it's actually called 1980X. So it's kind of like a mix of like a visual novel um, mixed with gaming, like a classic arcade game. It's a lot of, it's very story driven, but it's a very, very short game. It's like an hour long. So I th figured it would be perfect to try tonight. We might go a little over time because we'll be trying these scotches as well. I played the intro mission on it and I seriously got goosebumps. Like I, I think this game is just beautiful. That's all I'll say about that. So looking forward to playing that with y'all tonight. Um, first of all, shout out to people in the chat. I know y'all were chatting a bit earlier. Um, I see Wesley Zeller. I see Donnie. John Drinks. Welcome, John Drinks. I think it's the first time I've seen you here. Thanks for joining us tonight. Bourbon Noob. What's up, Patrick? Nick Proman. Uh, Sugar Kitty. Uh, I already said that. <laughs> uh, just make sure I'm not forgetting anyone that I that missed. Run Rev Collins. What's up, Run Rev? Whiskey Mountains. What's up, Adriana? Good to see you. James Taylor. Um, John Drinks says, love a vintage comparison. If the difference with the 70s red is anything to go by, the black will be a treat. So I'm very, very excited to do that. The reason I bought the original ones is because I haven't had Johnny Walker black in a minute. It was actually, fun fact, Johnny Walker black was one of the first scotches I ever bought because I was trying to experiment getting into scotch. Um, so this was one of the first ones I bought, but I haven't revisited it since then. So we're going to try it out again tonight. Um, yeah, so what's up, Fred? Good to see you. Um, he says, I see Pinch pretty regularly. Maybe they still make it. Yeah, yeah. Th this is a recent bottle. I went to a Total Wine earlier today and got this. I had n I've never heard of this before. It, sound it looks so, like, doesn't it look so, like, vintage? It seriously does. Um, <laughs> Tom says he's watching tonight in a loud bar. Well, thank you for tuning in, Tom. I know it's, I I'll, try I'll try to keep up with the noise level. Um... So, Donnie says, is 198X not like P90X? No, it is not. It's actually a very, very, very interesting looking game. So, can it beat, can it beat the Sporky Battle Challenge from KFC? We will see tonight. We will see tonight, Zopher. Um, but yeah, so, these are all blended scotches. So, they're, they're, not, they're a bit different than things I've been doing lately. They're not single malts. They are all blends. And I will say, I don't know about the pricing in the 1980s, but... This Johnny Walker Black Label was $22. This Shiva's was $20. And this Dimple Pinch, which was the most expensive, was $38. So we're going to see. Our, first of all, we're going to compare them to each other. But we're also going to be doing side-by-sides with the vintage release and the modern release. But since this game is about an hour long, I want to go ahead and get it started. And then I will pour something in my glass. Um, I'm actually still... I literally just ate. I finished eating two minutes before I went live, which is why I'm a little late. Again, sorry, Donnie. 
Um, but I made a margarita to drink with dinner, and I didn't drink it. So I'm like, I don't want to waste it. So hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm drinking a margarita <laughs> as well as these scotches. Let me know, though, what are you guys drinking tonight? Um, and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, make sure to hit the like button because the YouTube algorithm really likes it. I would have said follow me on Twitch, too, but we're not live on Twitch right now. But you can still follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bourbonbites. We're trying to get to 50 followers there. Um, so... Let's go ahead and get this game launched, and I'm going to go ahead and pour... Which one Which one do you think I should start with? I'm either thinking the Shivas or the the Johnny Walker as my first pour. And I will, I will pour both of them. I will pour the... Why am I... Is there an earthquake? Hold on. No, it's not. It's someone walking outside my apartment. Someone walking very, very heavily. <laughs> I, was, I was concerned for a second. I was like... Are we having an earthquake? <laughs> it's not, though. It's just my neighbor who walks very heavily. Um, anyways, so, so yeah. Which one should we pour, the Johnny Walker or the Shivas? I literally thought I was having an earthquake. My camera was just like... <clears throat> um, yeah, but I don't drink my margarita while I wait for you guys. Okay, so i got to vote for Johnny Walker. Run reps that start with the Johnny Walker. How the heck are you going to drink a margarita alongside? I don't know. I just didn't want it to go to waste, honestly. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to drink it with dinner. I was hurrying. It's not Godzilla. It's, it's a it's a very large Hawaiian man. So, I mean, he seems like a nice guy. I've never talked to him, but he's he walks with some heft. <laughs> All right. So, I'll pour the Johnny Walker since we got to vote for that. Um, so, I, will have to, I have two glasses here. We'll pour the vintage one on the left and then the new one on the right. So, let's pour the... Let's pour the new one on the right here. And again, if you missed it, I gave a shout out to Jason Coates who provided the sample. Appreciate that guy a lot. I'm, I'm, I, and I feel bad that I waited so long to get to it. So, all right, vintage on the right. Let's pour the, or vintage on the left, which I haven't poured yet. What's up, Mike Mayer? Good to see you. And the 1980s Johnny Walker Black on the left. So let's get those in the glass. Let them open up a bit, let them breathe. And then let's go ahead and get this game going. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have any issues with it going. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Let me get it pulled up here. I normally actually would have already had this loaded. But again, my dinner, I <laughs> my dinner ran late. So let's let's see. All right. give it Just give it a second. Okay, there we go. Looking for a game to play. Okay. Can you look a little faster? There's a game right there. Uh, hold on. <laughs> One second here. Like I said, I normally get this pre prepared right before the stream, but I was cook was eating dinner. There we go. There we go. So give me one second. Let me put that back behind me. There. Ha. We did it. We did it. So yeah, this is... Let me know what the audio levels are good if I need to turn it down or turn it up. I'm going to turn it down for myself because it's a little loud. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the... Like I said, I did play a little bit of this earlier just to check it out. I freaking thought it was beautiful so let's go ahead and let's start it over though i want you guys to see the whole experience so we'll start with the very first mission so glass they are in the glass they are mingling i will take another sip of my my margarita so like i said this game is called 1980x so it's based on arcade games of the 1980s it's very story driven so as you all will see but it's it just it just blew my mind how beautiful it was what was for dinner? It was a chicken rice bowl. Yeah, this margarita is not going to go about these scotches. So once I get into the scotches, I'm going to put it away because it's not going to work. It's a good, damn good margarita though. Give myself credit for that. Beating heart, the first the first challenge here tonight. All right, press one, player one start. By the way, I was gonna play Mortal Kombat and then I realized how difficult that game was because I haven't played it in forever. <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're gonna skip that, even though it would have been a really relevant game to play right now. I was like, I'm just so bad at this. I don't want to embarrass myself. So, well, there's gonna be some of those assets here with this game. Although it's almost more like Street Fighter or something. Or like one of the, um, I, I always think back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do you remember that? Like, it was like there's an arcade version too that I love that game. 
Oh, this game is very angsty, just based on the trailer, I know that. <laughs> but it, it just seemed pretty pretty cool. Oh, these are like power-ups in here. Yeah, there's definitely some, some 80s arcade beat-em-up vibes here. Now, this game does go with different styles. It's not just this the whole time. This is just the first, first aspect of it. I, so I was not an 80s kid, I was a 90s kid. So the only time I had a chance to play games like this were later in life. Although I had a Super Nintendo, I, I like that, but this is more like arcade style. What I associate with arcade kind of games. Street Fighter, yeah, yeah, it's definitely got those vibes. Oh, Double Dragon, I've only played, I've only played that once. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, definitely similar. I just think of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. <laughs> oh shit, he's beating me up. Oh my god. There's not like a, I don't think there's, oh, okay. Okay. There's not like a dodge button, so I can't like, I can't block him. Just kind of just run for him. <laughs> she has a knife, I don't like her knife. It scares me. Oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna kill me. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna die. Continue, yes. Oh, I'll put in another coin, okay, okay. Thank God I didn't just lose already. I was like, I know I'm bad at Mortal Kombat, but come on. <laughs> Can I at least be decent at this? Enjoying some Blantons with some Girl Scout cookies. Oh, that sounds so good. Jealous, James. You know these girls, they remind me of... Did y'all watch American Horror Story Hotel? Remember Sally? Sarah Paulson's character? They kind of remind me of Sally. They give me Sally vibes. Just like the the look, the the like look like washed up. I don't want to say washed up hooker, but I mean, oops. these guys punch really hard. These guys are the hardest, I think, of all the enemies. Cup of tea, that's always nice. Oh, I like these bats. They just like freaking obliterate them. guy's got a bat now. See, the girls have a knife. Oh, they're gonna beat me up again. I'm gonna lose again. Ah, oh, no. Okay, well, I got him. This guy with the bat is, like, stressing me out. Ah, oh, she stabbed me. <laughs> Insert another life. I like when I come back, I just, like, knock him out. Oh, my God. They're killing me. We're out. There we go. A little better. <laughs> okay, surely there's gonna be some health or something. Oh, not even a weapon. I didn't even get like a bat or anything. Oh my god, they're gonna beat the hell out of me right now. Oh, looks like we are we are transitioning here. You know what? I'm still gonna kick their asses. Don't you come back, don't y'all come back. Alright. Oh shit, there they are! They're still here. <laughs> Well, now that that part's over, let's go ahead and um, try these Johnny Walkers while the intro plays. So I'm start, starting... Actually, you know what? I'll start with the, the, the current modern day ones. We'll, we'll start with the current iteration of it. Then try the vintage ones, see how they compare. Smoky on the nose. But still, there's like a sweetness too. Smoky and sweet. Hmm. Not as you know what I, Johnny Walker's pretty good. I'm I'm a fan of Johnny Walker. I mean for a, a cheap, for a twenty dollar blend, it has like a nice amount of smokiness. It's balanced. Now I know this is not the red. I've had the red. The red's pretty terrible. But the black, as a twelve year old, it's pretty good. Oh, I should turn on captions. Hold on. Yeah, we'll do it next cutscene. I'll turn on captions in case y'all can't hear it. Hopefully you can hear it. Like I said, story's beautiful. So there I was up in my room just like every other night. Counting taillights on the highway. 
How many of y'all are 80s kids? Below would reach the city. But me, I'd still be here. Stuck in sleepy suburbia. <laughs> Sugar kitty. That's or how many of you... Thought. Yeah, how many of you were like teenagers in the 80s? I think you would relate more than I can to this, but... But sometimes extraordinary things will happen. <laughs> Mike Meyer, I, I I do I do love a good um ah what is that game called? I know what you're talking about because <laughs> it was featured in the Ready Player One book. Ah, what is that game called? What is the game with the okay, someone's first one to guess that gets a thumbs up from me. <laughs> 80s kids, yeah, I mean like people that were like teenagers in the 80s. I love the music in this game. Definitely fits the vibe of my channel. <laughs> Teen in the 80s. Okay, Donnie, so maybe you can relate to this. Alright, so got a, I'm pretty familiar with this current iteration of Johnny Walker Black. Let me try the vintage one. Oh, wow. Whoa. Very different on the nose. Joust! Thank you, Mike. Yes, I was like, I, I, I knew it started with a J, but I was like, I, was like, I don't know what I was thinking, but appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, Sugar Kitty too. So you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this game. I think it, it's I think it's beautiful. The nose is very very different on the the eighties Johnny Walker. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, guys. Oh wow, that's delicate, floral, not as smoky. I feel like the age shows up more. It's, it's definitely got a lot of, it's just got some oak character on it. Ah, it's still smoky on the nose though. But it doesn't, I don't taste any of the smoke on the, on the palate. Welcome to suburbia, just outside the city. Sometime in 1980X. 1980X, hence the name. <laughs> what you see around here? Used to be all that I cared for because it was all that I knew. So this game is on the Switch. I'm playing it on PC it though. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode oh, my wow. first bike. The my it's first a lot more interesting. A lot more interesting of last forever. Yeah, the current one is way smokier. This is the place I grew up in and grew out of. place I loved and hated. Oh, pizza sounds good. Even though I just had I dinner. I remember walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward, but every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. It's angsty, I told y'all. office <laughs> buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat video rental place where dad used to take me on the weekends he'd be looking for classics while I was more into superheroes although what they consider classic oh, would be man, different than what we consider classic forever but then we didn't go there anymore it was no big deal So I think what these whiskeys share is the sweet, the sweet aspect, the sweetness days, of it. I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. But there's, there's no smoke on the '80s one, which and is that weird. Was when I found it. Yeah, the voice actor I'm not loving so far. It, it does seem like it's a little, little much. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, I think the, the, the eighties one is way more delicate. Much more interesting, although I do the like the smoke. Was built long before I was born. I'm a fan it of smoke. Shut down so. and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there. But 
there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. Once the cutscenes are over, I'll, I'll, I'll pause for a minute to talk about this whiskey before we move on to the next one. <laughs> this is important story story I elements. all the guts I had to go down the stairs. I definitely thought it was about to be a brothel. The air was thick with cigarette smoke and 10,000 volts of energy. It still sounds like a brothel. And in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures. Their huge, crystal-clear screens flashing before my eyes. I'd seen video games before. So it's not a brothel. <laughs> one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. And this place was definitely no hangout for children. In front of these machines stood some of the coolest uncool people I had ever seen. They were the freaks, the geeks, the misfits, the outcasts. I miss the old arcade culture. Us. I feel like I, the outside world could not understand. I wish I could have experienced that. New existed. These guys were all playing trance-like. Totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. Maybe I could be one of them. It both takes lots of your money. Yeah, so I, um. I grew up, like, the arcades I tried as a kid were just like Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I, I didn't have that, like, whole, like, arcade experience. There were a few smaller ones, like, in Myrtle Beach, had, a, had like, one on the boardwalk area. Uh, but yeah, like these like classic arcades weren't really a thing, and I'm sad. Like I feel like that was an '80s thing. I was a '90s kid. I'm like, dang it, I missed it. <laughs> All right, well this will be a good pausing point. Let me let me talk about the whiskeys real quick. So I've tried the um, Johnny Walker from the 1980s and the current Johnny Walker. I gotta say, I think that the '80s one is way more complex and like a lot of floral notes. It's very delicate. However, I like the smokiness on the current release. I think it add, it adds a different aspect that I don't typically see on a blended scotch. So, while I do think that the 80s one is more complex, I, I think that the current one brings something new. But like I said, the sweetness, there's like a sweetness on it that is the same across both of them. I don't know if it's the whiskey that they're using, like their base whiskey that, you know, was without the smokiness. But it's a very, very, very similar sweetness um, on, on the palate. <laughs> Zover says games were too damn hard back then. Yeah, hence the reason I said I was going to play Mortal Kombat 2 early this morning. I was like, oh yeah, that'll be fun. Mortal Kombat movie just came out. It'll be a fun stream. Y'all, I could, I beat the, <laughs> I beat the first boss once, and then I like, and then like I got game over. I had to start over, and I could not beat him again. I'm like, you know what? I am not streaming that. Y'all see me struggle far too much on this channel. So I thought this game would be fun. It's kind of like a throwback to those vintage games. It kind of is very fitting for my, you know, theme here with the channel. Plus, it seems like a pretty damn good story. So, I saw Donnie said um, it's slow paced. It is. It is a bit of a. Um, it's 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 a visual novel, probably pretty much. But it's got a lot of playable aspects. It's got a bunch of these like mini games in between. So, Donnie says, "How about a blend of the current and the and the '80s one? Let's do it. Let's make so like an '80s and a 2000. Damn, how long ago were the '80s?" That's 40 years ago. I'm still in the mindset when I think of the 80s, I think of like 20 to 30 years ago. No, nope. That was 40 years ago. Holy crap. All right, so we're going to do a little blend here. I'm going to have the 80s one. I'll go ahead and finish that off. Why not? And we'll, we'll blend some. They're both 12 years, thankfully, so we're not, we're not mixing in different ages here. So maybe, you know what? Donnie, that's a great idea. Maybe this will have a some of the smokiness of the current release, but some of the depth of the the 80s release. So let's go ahead and let's try that blend real quick before we move on to the next whiskey. So I, I saw whiskey mountain. She said she had a VHS rewinder like separately. Why, what would the advantage of that be? Just the fact that you could rewind something while you're watching something else? Because I did not have one of those. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying the, the the blend right now. I think the smokiness of the current release dominates it. 
the rest feels a bit flat. No, I don't like that as much as either of them on their own. That's interesting. The smokiness takes over, but the sweetness is kind of like, maybe they're not as similar as I thought because the sweetness is like, there's some con contrasting elements there. It gets a little metallic, I would almost say. Like a metallic kind of smoke in the blend. Yeah, I don't love the blend. I'm going to try that one more time, but then I'm going to pour that one out. It's just too many competing flavors. So we're going to move on from the blend. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> um, the fifth... With the, considering the 50s were to you what the 80s are to today's kids. I know, I know. Well, I was born in 93, so I, I can't speak too much, but I, I do feel old. I'm turning 28 in about two weeks, so I'm, I'm feeling it. My bones, my bones are creaking, guys. All right, so next, let's go ahead and move to the Chivas. Now, like I said, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. I hope it's not just like Chivas. <laughs> um, so this one, like I said, this is just the budget one. This is a $12 one. They had an 18-year one that was about $50 to $60. I thought about picking that up, but I'm like, I'm already spending $100 just getting these three pretty much at my store. I was like, I don't know if it's worth the plunge to do an extra $30 on top of what I was already spending. So we are, um, this is pretty, I'm just setting this up up front. This is not a full fair comparison because this is just the 12-year release, while this is a late 70s Royal Salute 21-year-old. They still make the Royal Salute, but again, it's $180, so I could not, I mean, I could have, maybe, but I just, I, I, I just decided I'm just going to go with the basic, basic release from them. So we're going to pour, let me, oop, I didn't bring my, hold on, got to do a little rinse here because I don't, I don't want the smokiness of that one to like mess me up. Oh, let me. Didn't want to spill over my keyboard. There we go. I still spilled all over my keyboard. Y'all know it's not, it's not a cliffy stream unless I spill water everywhere. Thankfully, I prepared and brought a paper towel. I need to, you know what? I need to buy a glass. Like last time, I don't know if y'all saw my stream on Thursday, but I used a um, <laughs> measuring cup to, to um, pour to rinse out my glasses. I need to invest in just a small like thing with a spout that I can just pour into my glasses and rinse them on the spot. Chivas. Chivas. Not Shivas. So it's Chivas. Although Zophar says Shivas. You know what? Close enough. Yeah, I'm just rinsing because I didn't want the smokiness of that one to... Alright, so glass on the right is going to be the current release of the 12 year and then glass on the left like i said is going to be a night late 1970s shiva's royal salute which by the way if y'all saw the thumbnail of tonight's stream this one has a really cool bottle it still has a cool bottle today um but it's like blue and it's like ceramic i think it's ceramic it's beautiful so while I would have loved to do them side by side with the actual release, I'm like, <laughs> that's a little, that's a little much to do for a Saturday night stream. As much as, you know what, I love y'all and I love making these fun, but $180 on a whim is not, not what I'm about. <laughs> All right, so those are in the glass. Like I said, the vintage one is on the left. Do not forget that, Cliffy. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to see if we, how we do in Out of the Void, which is... Why does it keep, ah, uh, come on. Oh, there we go. It just, it just takes it a minute. All right, let's see how we do in this game. Out of the void. Oh, it's a space game, it's a space game. I love these. I'm a, I'm a big Galaga fan. Galaga's my go-to. Oh, okay, so it's like a scrolling shooter, okay. All right. I'm charging my weapon. Ooh, dang. That's, that fire's a really big shot. So it's not quite... Oh, it's, it's, oh man, I just crashed right into the ships. <laughs> oh, I can get that. Oh, increase my speed. It's not quite Galaga, but it, it's 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 pretty similar to a lot of the the space games from back then. Cool, I like this. Man, I'm, I'm such a fanboy about, about like old 80s like arcade games. I freaking... I've told y'all this like several times during my streams, but like, oh man, I'm not doing well. 
is I freaking love arcade bars where you just like sit around, you you drink, you drink your cocktails, but you also play vintage video games. I freaking love those, and I miss that's what I miss the most from from COVID. I, I want to go back to more arcade bars. We have one called the One Up here in LA. Um, I've always wanted to start my own, by the way. I've told some of y'all this before, but... Oh, shit, what is that? Oh, shit, what are these? <gasps> this is the boss? Oh, I'm about to... I'm already about to die. Oh, well, I can't crash into the boss ship, apparently. Apparently, you can't crash into, crash into the boss. Oh, we gotta start over, don't we? Alright, well, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and charge up. Do not crash into the boss. Good to know. <laughs> A bit extra, but you know what? Why not? <laughs> Okay, so you can completely avoid them. They're not going to come back and, like, haunt you. Oh, I love... I, oh, shit, there was... I almost missed that. Although, I guess if you just stay in the middle, you can, like, just avoid all of it, right? <laughs> nah, that's cool. Oh, they, these ones come back. Okay. I just got all those. That was fun. Oh, I love doing that. I love the big blasts. Alright. Here's the boss. I don't think I can turn my ship. So I only shoot forward. I don't know what it's popping out right here. I mean, I can definitely shoot them and kill them. I don't know what they are. I assume they're bad. Oh, I can shoot the thing right here. Wait, I can just like do this. Wait, did I already defeat it? What is that? Is that a fucking transformer? What the hell was that? A transformer just popped out of this shit. Oh, you can't shoot those. Just gotta avoid him. Ah, oh. oh man, there's like freaking. Oh shit. There's enemies too. Oof. I don't know if I just hurt myself by trying to get that, but I want to go for it. Oh man, it's making me a little dizzy. <laughs> oh shit, the transformer. Holy crap, that's a massive gun. Wait, what do I do in that situation? How do I even avoid that? I can avoid that, but like when he's like darting at me, what the hell? What am I supposed to do in that situation? What the hell? Am I starting all the way over? Oh shit, okay, thank god. I was like, what the hell? I know how to shoot him. Oh yeah, okay, I avoided him that time. I just gotta be quick, I guess. Yeah, I can avoid him now. I thought, I thought it was like, it took the whole screen, but I'm good. Ah, oh, I got right zapped right in the face. Ah, not doing too good right now. Oh wait, oh is it, we got him, we got him? Yes. Laser? <gasps> Ooh. What, am I still, I'm almost dead. Oh shit. This definitely seems way easier than like actual 80s games. This is like, ah. Uh, yeah, continue. Yes, continue. What's up, Anthony? Yeah, so you can char you can charge. Oh, apparently crashing to the ground hurts you. Yeah, I wish I would have known that before I just slammed myself to the ground. What the hell is this? Ah, you can only shoot the head. Oh no, it got me. Dang. All right. Oh wait, I want to turn subtitles on for when. I'm... Yeah. So when there's a cutscene, so y'all can read it. Focused here. <laughs> so I gotta shoot the head of this thing. Ah, fuck! 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 Die! Okay, there we go. There we go. Got it. 
Not another one. Fuck, die. <laughs> Ugh. I got some damage there. Oh no, shit. There's a lot of these guys. I don't have time to charge. I don't have time to charge. Oh. Crashed into the ground again. I forget I can't I can't just like zoom all the way down. Oh shit, these guys are fast. Oh, no, I died. I was doing so well. I think I just need to like rapid fire, like just do this over and over. <laughs> Cause I have weapons going like all over the place. Hey, I'm just like keeping my distance. I'm like, I can't do this. I'm scared. These are scary. Oh, I got hit again. I'm not doing well again. No! Oh no, I'm out of lives. Oh, I got it. How far back does it put me back? Uh, please don't put me too far back. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. I was scared it was going to start me all the way over. I was like, no! I don't think I'm doing terrible, but I also am not doing great. <laughs> ah. I keep trying to get that guy before he like comes around. This one's I can avoid, they're not even gonna come after me. Ah, uh, it's tough. That the spot is tough. I wish I could see my health. Although it seems like I can only get shot three times. If I get hit three times, I'm dead. There's one. I can avoid these guys and stop focusing on them. Oh, I, I walked right into that one. That was my fault. Wish there was health. Oh, shit. Fuck! Ah, uh, this is guy's skin. I just gotta shit rabbit shoot them. Oh shit. Ah! Uh, maybe it'll, maybe this is a new checkpoint. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm pretty close to a checkpoint at that point, I imagine. So let me let me try again. I think I think as long as I know that I can get to that point. It's very repetitive, so like you know like what enemies are coming, thankfully. Ah, uh, hit once. I always get hit at that same spot at the beginning. Alright, I avoided those. I apologize for ignoring the chat, I promise I'll, I'll catch up with you guys shortly. I just don't want to get through this level, I hate doing the same thing over and over. This part's tough. All right, I'm, I'm doing better than I thought I was doing before. Okay, please have a checkpoint soon, please. <laughs> oh, sh fuck! 
That one got me. Got one life left. Get a checkpoint soon, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Oh, sh oh they got me. They got me. Ah, uh, no. I'm not getting to a checkpoint yet. It's annoying. I wish I could get helps. I don't care about getting 10,000 points. I just want helps. Ah, uh, I already got hit. I get hit that same spot every single time. Every time. Oh, well shit, okay, I just need to kill myself at this point. <laughs> I'm purposely killing myself, I'm like... <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> As I always say, I never claim to be good at video games, I just say I enjoy them. It's super repetitive and it's like, I need to remember the format. Well, I killed that guy before he could do anything to me this time, so that's good. Alright, maybe I'm better off to a better start at this point, maybe? Maybe? I think I'm off to a good start. At least I, I like to think I am. <laughs> Ah, uh, these guys. These guys! Ah, uh, damn it! Still just one hit, but still. Oh, that was nice. Did y'all see that? Right. He's gonna come back around, isn't he? Oh my god, I just slammed into the wall. This is where I died last time. Ugh! Oh my gosh. Alright. So what are y'all drinking? <laughs> Trying to keep the conversation going, I apologize, I can't read the chat. I need to focus. Almost ran right into that. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Y'all saw that, right? Ah, oh, I crashed into the ground again. Forget I can't do that. Ah oh, man, that was that sucked. Um, no, I I cannot have one life left. I appreciate that. I cannot have one life left and be at that point. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, Anthony. Yeah, it's definitely like it, it's there's definitely a rhythm to it. You got to get it down. I appreciate that y'all are chatting amongst yourselves and not just like, be like, okay, when is this guy gonna finish? <laughs> I'm trying, I promise. I'm not just trying. I'm not intentionally doing bad. As much as I'd like to admit that. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. I did not need to get hit there. Nah, I just didn't. Fuck. All right, I'll get, I'll get. One more try, and then we're gonna drink these scotches. We'll drink the scotches and we'll try it again. See if it'll help me improve my game. So I'm gonna try it one more time before we get to that point. But see, I'm already off to a good start. Off to a good start so far. <laughs> Never mind. Completely forget that I just said that. Let's 
still gonna go for it though. The powered up shots don't really seem to like hurt those guys. See when I charge, when I charge I feel pretty confident. But it's these guys like here, you gotta like ah, uh, nah. Definitely think I'll be drinking that scotch here soon. <laughs> I, just, I do want to do at least one blast these guys. Look at that, that was so smooth. I love doing that. Why is there no health? Like, I don't need this 10,000 points. That doesn't benefit me at all. I know this guy's gonna come from my face. He's gonna come from my face. Ah. Uh, Alright, break time. We are drinking some scotch. How about that? And then we're gonna see if we can beat that level. But let, let's go ahead and try these 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 scotches so like i said we have the the shivas shivas um both the 12 year current release or or and <laughs> we got both and the 21 year old royal salute from 1970s the 1970s by the way which was i looked it up a bit this was released in commemoration of the queen it was like a royal salute to the queen um, that's where the idea came from with this one. So let's try the current release of this one first. Then let's let's move over to the um, the older one. Like I said, current release is about twenty dollars, so it's a little cheap. But by the way, sorry if I, if I'm missing in the chat, please say it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw Patrick's like, but when is Clifford going to beat this level? I'm sorry. Oh, like a sailor. Apologize. I get very competitive when it comes to gaming. Sorry about that. All right. So let me let me rinse my palate real quick. All right, so let's try the current 12 year. Really sweet on the nose. Like this is like honey sweetness. Chivas, Chivas. Thank you, JG. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Sorry, I, sorry I missed you coming in. Chivas. I'm trying to be fancy and make it like Chivas. No, it's Chivas. Honestly, I like the nose on this. It's, it's, it's sweet. Lots of fruit more of like a pear or like a almost pineapple it's like a tropical fruit on the nose honey sweetness yeah i like the nose on the on the current release a lot let's go ahead and try it cheers guys I see why this is a lot of places well not not wouldn't say well it's a lot of people places um go to scotch i just know i've gone to a few all-inclusive resorts in mexico and they if they have a scotch it's almost always this one and i've only ever gotten it just like on the rocks because i'm like i just want to have something to sip on you know i think for what it is for a 20 dollar budget scotch it's not bad i've had worse I do prefer the smokiness of the Johnny Walker personally, um, but if you prefer like a sweeter, maltier, definitely maltier taste, this one might be your choice over the Johnny Walker. I just like a little bit of smoky, so the, um, <laughs> anybody else think of Mercer says pew, 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 Ugh, that's me, that's me. Um, all right, so, so that was the, the current release of that one. Let me go ahead, let me move over to the vintage release the, the 19 late 1970s 21 year old so right off the bat it's going to be it's going to be more interesting i know that for sure but the fact that it's 1970s is really really cool again thank you jason for these whoa that smells like a musty mothball but not in a bad way this reminds me of i i had a family member <laughs> this sounds so bad i had a family member whose house smelled like this but no it's it's not quite like a musty smell. It's just like a old, like a it was, it was an old house. It was from like the early 1900s. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little sour. Very different. Holy crap, that's so different than than the the current release. They're both sweet. I would say so. That one is more honey sweetness than the current one. This one is more like earthy. I mean, it's 21 years old, which would make sense, but 
John says old bottle effect, and that's a good point. A lot of vintage whiskeys do kind of have that mustiness to them. I I like this. I love a good. It smells like an old book. I love I love old books. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, guys. That's funky, like funky, funky. I want to know how how long that bottle's been open. It doesn't it, it it doesn't taste bad. It's just it has a weird funkiness to it. Sour. Still that malty, malty mothy mothy is not a word. Musty. Ah man, you know what? That could just be the fact that it's an older bottle. It's probably been open for a while. I don't particularly love the taste on that one. It smells really interesting. <laughs> so for so we had a family member with that smell. It smells really great, but I think when you tr when you get over to the palate on it, it's it just feels not that it's, it feels like it's gotten off. It does. Again, this is in a decanter. I gotta think about that. It's in a ceramic decanter, which would explain some of the funkiness. I, I've had some older Jim Beam or Wild Turkeys that have been decanters and they have a similar funk to them. So there's that aspect of it. I think that's kind of what's so much. Since this is such a light whiskey, it's all 80% ABV or 80 proof, 40%. Um, I think it's taking on a lot of that lead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if actually know if it's a lead decanter or not, but it's taking on a lot of that like ceramic kind of taste. So I don't particularly think that's done well being in the bottle for as long as it as long as it has been. I would love to try a current release of the 21 year old. It's just out of my budget a bit right now. But I could see where that may have been good God, 50 years ago. 50 years ago were the 1970s, y'all. What the heck? All right, let me let me uh, let me finish the the 12 year. Hmm. Yeah. I much prefer the 12 year. The current release. And I only think that's because it's gotten a little funky with age. Not with age. Not, not the fact that it's 21 years old. I mean with time in whatever bottle it was in. Um, 12 year is smooth. That's the best thing I can say about it. Um... It's smooth, it's easy drinker, it's sweet, it's thick. Yeah, the 12 year is pretty good. I honestly think it's the most, it's more of a baseline blended scotch. The Johnny Walker has smoke, and if people are turned off by smoke, they're not going to like it. But the the, the the Chivas, Chivas, whatever it's called, 12 year, is a very good baseline whiskey. Adriana said it tastes like the library in Beauty and the Beast. Um, Yeah, I know it's got a little bit of the, 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 beast, the Beast's musty funk. Yeah, that's gross, I'll stop. All right, so we are moving on. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my glass the Dimple Pinch, which is the funnest name ever. I cannot think of a more fun name for a whiskey other than Dickel. So we have a Dimple Pinch from the 1970s, which is the in my thumbnail, which is what that one was. Shivas. That's literally what I said at the beginning, Donnie, and I feel like y'all made fun of me for it. So I've been like questioning myself ever since. Okay, Shivas. That's what I said, I swear. Watch the replay. Hashtag replay squad, people in the chat that are watching this later tonight, later either tonight or later um, in the future. And they're going to look back at this and like, they're talking about the 80s only being 50 years ago. The 80s were like 100 years ago, like, <laughs> like in 2050 or whenever they're watching this. I guess it would be a little bit more than that. All right. This time I'm switching up. I'm putting the vintage in the left. Actually, no, I'm not. That's what I did all along. Whew. Oh, my God, Adriana. It's pronounced Redoutable Regul. Yes, got it. You know what's funny? I was on a um, I was on a Clubhouse show. Um, which, if you don't know, it's like an audio format, live stream kind of thing. And this guy was trying to talk about his newest Foursquare purchase. And he was like, he didn't even want to say the name of it because he's like, I'm going to mispronounce this. He said, but it looks like it says Redoubtable. I know that's not how you pronounce it. I'm like, thank God I'm not the only one. I still came in like, uh, it's it's pronounced Redoubtable. 
Oh my god, I didn't know the guy. That would have been that would have been bad. Okay, this glass is this bottle is really freaking awkward to pour from. Hold on, gotta make some room for it. All right. Now, like I said, this current release was thirty seven dollars. So, bit more than the other ones, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. I'm bringing Dickle back. That's right. All right. So those are in the glass. Let me try not more one more time, but let me try a bit again to see if we can beat this beat this level. I did not realize how difficult it was gonna be. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right. Let's let's go ahead and go back to the game. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can do a little better now. Now that I have some liquid courage. I almost screwed up really bad at the beginning already. Off to a wonderful start. By the way, as much as like I suck at this, I love it. I freaking, I love this style of game. It's not too hard where it doesn't, I mean, I, I say it's not, too, oh fuck, I should stop talking. I say it's not too t hard as I cannot beat it, but to me, it's like, it's exactly what I want from an old arcade game. It's It's got the, the music, it's got the, the challenge it's just it's just a lot of fun yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and die <laughs> i need to start over i knew that was gonna be bad I need to, uh, st start from scratch let's go all the way let's do it not scratch but like let's let's start from you know what if i just avoided everything instead of like trying to kill it i might would do better <laughs> might be better at avoiding things than trying to kill them Killing them with the blaster is like awesome. It's a lot, it's a lot easier. Oh, almost! I almost died right there. All right, all right. Not doing too awful so far. So far. And I, I'm at the point where like I already know what's coming up next. I'm like, I'm ready for it. Ah, that one always gets me. I swear, it always gets me. How the hell am I supposed to even avoid that? Ah, this is not a good start. I thought I was going to be so much better now. Oh, wait, how did I even die? I don't even know how I died at that point. Oh, I got them before they could even shoot me. That was pretty nice. Almost got hit by that one. This guy right here always gets me. He always gets me. Yep. There's no point in killing those guys, but <laughs> I always try to do it. Uh, I was trying to beat them. I was trying to beat them that time. I love blasting that. It's so much fun. I wish if you killed them early on, you got an advantage. Ah, uh, fuck. All right. I'm gonna get this. I'm I'm committed to at least beating this level before the stream is over. So if I'm here three hours later, still trying to do the same thing, <laughs> y'all know I didn't have much luck. But I'm, I'm committed, y'all, at this point. That's why it's Saturday night. We can go a little overtime. It's not really. I know Hot Buttery Rolls goes on after me. So if y'all if y'all want to head out and watch this stream, I get it. <laughs> He's such a fun channel, but but I'm committed. I'm already I'm already deep, too deep in this at this point. I gotta I gotta beat it. Not doing well this turn though. I, why did I just walk right into his trap? That was stupid. Yeah, I, I deserve to die at that point. Okay, three full lives. Let's see. Let's see how we can do this. I almost want to try my strategy of just like not killing things and just trying to like avoid them. <laughs> I feel like I might do better. This mother effer. 
You know what? I completely avoided. Oh no! I avoided him that whole time. That just slammed to the fucking ground. Dang it! And it, oh man, I'm not. Just die. Just die. I, I I'm saving y'all some effort by dying early on because I know there's no way I can get to the very end at that point with as low of health as I have. There's no way I can make it to the end. I need to try to get to that point with only one or two hits. Okay, okay, not doing awful, not doing awful. His streams do go on for a long time, so if 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 you if if you want to go watch you know watch me now and then code to him, I, I guarantee you he'll still be on. <laughs> he goes for like three or four hours every every time he streams, which is awesome. I can't do it. I wish I could, but you know, <laughs> I struggle to get through more than an hour. But you know what? For you guys, I'm doing it. We'll, we'll see how long this takes. Is it just me or am I doing pretty decent so far? I think I might be doing pretty decent so far. Should I just like, oh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. <laughs> Shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh shit, the boss again. Oh no. I'm charged up. Oh. What the heck? Something killed the boss? Oh no. Is it gonna kill me too? Oh no. Ah, well fuck. Damn, it's already it's already killed me. Oh no, what is this? Die! Die shit! I ran right into that trap. Okay, maybe it'll start me at like doing the boss battle again. Okay, thank God. I was like nervous there. Just go ahead and die. Oh shit. I gotta shoot him in the head, it seems. Well, it seems like I can avoid much. Oh shit. Oh, he can block me now. Oh, and he can shoot random lasers at me. Okay. Ah, oh, there's other enemies too now. Shit! Oh man, that's tough. That's tough. Okay, let's... Let's see what we can do. Okay, go for the head. Full on blast. I just need to do big blast. How about that? I'm just full on blasting him. Ah, oh, got me that time. Ah, he got me. He got me. Look for patterns. I know, I know, I know. I'm working on it. Working on it. <laughs> I'm just full on, like, full power blasting it. It still got me. It explodes to a way that like I, I don't expect. Oh, ooh, okay, that's that's pretty gory. I had my I was on my last life. I know that so far. <laughs> I, I saw it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm still alive. I think I killed the boss. Let's celebrate. Oh, uh, school time. Great. Well, while my character goes to school, let's go ahead and try these scotches. Current release on the right. It wouldn't be fair to say I didn't do my best in school. I just realized my... I'm gonna cover up the captions. At least captions. for a while, I really tried to make it work. Now, you see most of them. <laughs> my green screen is also now, is getting later at night, so my green screen is glitching out. Always, with all those people, I wasn't really there. I 
was on an asteroid somewhere fighting space invaders. But then there was her. Oh shit. Got a love interest already. She looks like she's like 27. And he looks like he's like 13. This punk rocker from the Southern District. She was the wildest thing I've ever seen. Is this gonna get Colonel Sanders? I don't know, Adriana. I don't know. Girl was born a rebel. Free to go wherever she wanted to. Free in a way I could still only dream of. How sad. Oh, this is another game. All right, well, before we dive into this game, we're going to go a bit over time tonight, but it's Saturday. Who the hell cares? Let's go ahead and take a break, and let's let's try these whiskeys, shall we? Let's try these whiskeys. I wish I could fix my green screen at this point. It's just, so I, I have, like, a window here, so, like, the natural light changes. <laughs> Especially when I start at 6 o'clock, it always is like I can never set it up properly. So it's getting a little fuzzy. Don't worry. It's, don't adjust your television. That's just how it is. <laughs> so we're going to do it. That is a racing game coming up. So stick around if you want to see a racing game. But until before then, let's let's try the dimple pinch. <laughs> My green screen gets tired. Yes, it does. All right. So on the right, we have the current release. These are the exact same. The, technically, this one's a 15 year, and I think it was H shaded as a 12 year back in the day. But now it's H shaded as a 15 year. Ah, okay. A little smoky. Not quite as smoky as the Johnny Walker. Hmm. Honestly, favorite nose so far of all of these like current releases. It's got the smokiness, but it's like super malty. There's a lot of maltiness on it too. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, guys. Still 80 proof, so I'm like a little light down there. But balanced. Not too sweet. Not like sickingly sweet. Malty. A lot of cereal, cereal kind of note on that. Heck yes. This actually tastes like a really good... It's got, definitely has a lot of impact of like a Highland whiskey. It's got like... I always say like a malty like cereal kind of note with the Highland. Ah, huh, yeah. Yeah, I like the I like the current release a lot. So let me let me try the... Um, well, first of all, let me try... Fix my green screen. Maybe I'll be a little brighter. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. Better though. Better. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> All right, so let's try the 1970s Dimple Pinch. Have y'all ever had Dimple Pinch? I saw some people say in the chat earlier they'd heard of it, but has anyone actually tried it, whether back in the 70s or 80s or currently? Whoa, these are the most similar on the nose. Holy crap, that's very, very similar. Yeah, whoa, that's cool. I would say on the nose, it really hasn't changed much at all since the 1970s. What is awesome to, to say because I feel like a lot of whiskeys you compare it to vintage stuff and it's not quite the same thing as it used to be. It does have a little bit more of that musty, kind of like library kind of note. But overall, once you look past that, very, very similar on the nose. I'm a fan. I, I like this. I like the consistency there. This is 50 years later. Still very similar on the nose. Let's see, if it, let's see how it does on the taste, though. Cheers. So on the palate, it's a little different. It's not it's not quite as close as the nose is. Still a little malty. It has like a tobacco note. There's a lot more tobacco in the the dusty one. Yeah, <laughs> dimple pinch. It's it's really weird. Apparently, it's just known as the pinch in like certain groups, but it's it's a weird shaped bottle. It's it's so weird. But you know what? It This literally looks like I grabbed this bottle from the 1970s and I just brought it. No, this is the current bottle. This is not the old vintage bottle. However, this looks like something that came right out of the 1970s. Um, <laughs> Barkeep, I'll have a dimple pinch. I know, that sounds so... Oh, God. You know what? Maybe that's why it was called that. Maybe that's why it was called it. On the nose, man, these are so similar. 
Let me let me try the modern one, and I'm gonna go back to the vintage one. Modern one is very just straightforward, sweet, little smoky, malty, cereal grains. I like that. I like it for what it is. I do think it's a little pricey. It's about $37, so almost double what these other ones are, but I think there's quality there. It almost reminds me of a, um, uh, what is the famous gra grouse or grouse? Grouse. Y'all corrected me once before. I said grouse, and you're like, it's grouse. Famous Grouse, it kind of reminds me of that one. That, that one I feel like, I have not had the basic one, but I've had their, um, they have two, they have the Naked Grouse, which I've had, which is um, a little more expensive. And they also have one that, that I have that's finished in a bourbon cask, or exclusively Asian a bourbon cask. This reminds me a lot of those premium examples from the Famous Grouse. Um, now, let me try the vintage one, though. Ask for a pinch. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'd rather ask for a dimple than a pinch. Wow. These are the absolute most similar of, of any of these. The Johnny Walkers were completely different on the level of smokiness. They were they had similar sweetness, but they were different on the smokiness. The 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 Shivas, Chivas, um were both sweet, but there there was definitely a difference there. The, the, I think that maybe the, the other one had gone a little not bad. It, it was not bad, but I think it was influenced too much by the, the decanter. This one, though, I think this tastes like a very obvious attempt at maintaining the consistency of what once was with this product. I think the older one is... That one has a note that's like a soda, like a cola kind of note on it. Yeah, it's like a sweet, like, not like natural cola, but like, have you ever had any of those, like, soda candies that are, like, flavored like Dr. Pepper or flavored like Coke? It kind of has that, like, the, the chalkiness of, like, a fake soda candy. Yeah, I like that. I like them both. These, this is the winner. This is the winner for me tonight. So Sugar Kitty says, in the rest of the world, Dimple Pinch is known as Haig. I have heard of Haig. That's good to know. This, I mean, this is what was sold to me in the liquor store today. So this is not imported or anything. It's just like on the shelf at Total Wine. Man, look how it's so, it's so ugly, but it's so beautiful at the same time. All right. So the opposite of being a winner is what I'm going to be at the rest of this game. So we'll play it a little bit longer. We'll see if I get stuck on a level. We might just decide to shelf it until, <laughs> shelf it until another time. But let's see if we can do this racing game, shall we? Appreciate y'all sticking around. Like I said, I know Hot Buttery Rolls is live right now, but if y'all want to hang out either here or watch the replay or whatever, I appreciate y'all. Um, and make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're heading out, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. But if you're just planning to stick around, let's let's see how this racing game goes. Man, I am burby. I was like, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to hold that one in. That did not work. <laughs> I would not, could not with a grouse. Well, fair enough. All right. The runaway. Let's see how we do. Now, I don't know if this is going to be Mario Kart style. Or is this going to be... Oh, man, this is, like, classic. How do I even accelerate? Oh, this is accelerate. Okay. Oh, man, this is giving me Super Nintendo vibes. It's, it's like, a little, like, the frame rate's higher than, like, a Super Nintendo, but, like, holy crap. It's like vintage. Oh man, I love this. I love the style here. It's like a time trial. I can't shoot or anything. I'm just gonna avoid the traffic. Oh, I love this. I just, I free. <laughs> it's just is bringing back memories of the games I played on Super Nintendo when I was younger. Oh, oop. that's what I get for trying to read the chat, y'all. I was literally trying to read the chat. I was like, what? What? I'm like, also, it says I'm going 180 oh, kilometers per hour. I was like, there's no way I'm going 180 miles per hour. I love the old station wagons. Oh no. Checkpoint. Okay, got some extra time with the checkpoint. I love the music. 
So I think I'm just supposed to be avoiding the car. Oh, well, not like that. Oh, no, it slowed me down. It slowed me down a lot. I'm just like dancing to the music. I can't see. I can't see going down a hill. All right. Oh no, spun out. <laughs> Hit that curve too quick. I read the first part of that comment, Nick. He said, anytime Cliffy messes up, yell. And I did not have a chance to read it before I had to go around and turn. So I'm gonna see that comment in just a second. I don't know what y'all are about to yell, but y'all <laughs> y'all are gonna yell something. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna mess up. If I, if I read your comment, I'm gonna mess up. I, I, I yeah, whatever I'm supposed to yell, y'all yell it now because I just messed up. I'm reading the chat. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, mess up y'all. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought, I thought you said, every time Cliffy messes up, yell something. And I was like, what are y'all yelling? But <laughs> he said, remember, I'm reading the chat. Oh, don't worry, I'm reading the chat. I'm on to you. Oh, the music's like fading out, right? <laughs> These sound effects. Oh no, eight seconds. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, this will give me some freaking The weekend Vegas vibes, like, um, Sin City down and empty. What is that song? I say, ooh. Blinding lights, there we go. Just give me those vibes, I love it beautiful i just think this game like yes it's short and it's it is kind of like someone there's some i started hanging out in the arcade okay, almost every listen. night standing there beside the other players watching every move their fingers made this was the real thing another life was just one credit away Oh, metaphor, metaphorical. Down Another life is one credit a away. New worlds, a new meaning. I could be whoever I wanted to be. Travel to outer space, experience fantasy and fear, or just take a walk on the wild side of town. See, this game just gives you all in your feels. I love that about it. It's, it may not be the best, you know, best game, but for me, it's entertaining. And I, it, it makes me feel like I'm watching a movie, reminiscing on the past. I freaking love that. I drive all night to get to that place. The music's also epic. I freaking love the music here. Hopefully y'all can hear. If the guy, if you only turn the game up, the volume, please let me know. I can turn it up. I didn't want to be too loud to overpower what I was saying, but this is just like relaxing. Just sitting here doing this, it's just man, I'm loving it. Hope y'all are enjoying it too. Wish I could sip some bourbon, but I only have one hand. Also, I shouldn't be drinking and driving too. So there's that. These, these, I said bourbon, whiskey. I don't know. To me, when I say drinking bourbon, it sounds like I prefer bourbon over whiskey. I just, I just grew up saying, okay. Cliffy will shut up now. Did not grow up saying that. But I'm just so used to saying, oh, I want to drink some bourbon. But I mean whiskey. It was about <laughs> escape. It was about transformation. For every visit I made. Tell it a Top Gun soundtrack. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Move I should just ride in this lane. There's no cars in this lane, but then the, the lights are doing that to my face. That is seizure-inducing. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Some guy said I was nothing but a dreamer, completely out of touch with reality. But I don't know. Down here, I was free. I was in control. No one 
told me where to go or what to do. The only bad part about it was having to come back up to the real world. Well, back to the real world. Huh. I mean, I, I feel like I still relate with that. Like, even gaming nowadays, it's like, it's an escape. Eyes on the road. Yes. Now time for a whiskey break while we get into the story. Oh, he's so depressed. I feel so bad for this guy. I know bourbon's whiskey. I just, I, I feel bad when I'm drinking scotch. I'm like, let's get back to the bourbon and it's scotch. That's, that's all my fault. <laughs> Apple 2E. We had I had a hand me down Apple computer from my sister, and it used those giant floppy disks, like the big thick ones. Um, I had Oregon Trail on that. I had like a bunch of like, like, not, I don't know if Carmen San Diego was on that, but games like Carmen San Diego. So that definitely, I was almost a kid of the 80s because I had her hand me down tech when I was a kid. So. take a hike with the whiskey mountains maybe or maybe he just needs some whiskey i don't know the age of this person he could be 18 maybe he seems a little young but whiskey will change his life back when we were kids life was so much easier see he's not a kid you could go from bug collector in the morning to bank robber before bedtime it's and so angsty <laughs> like wow dude like there are so great things about living in the moment, too. Then came high school, and everyone got brainwashed. People started seeing you the way they wanted to see you. I don't know what he's upset about. Be the brain, be the clown. He's just this, like, angsty, like, teenage years. I mean, popular. it is a coming-of-age story, so I, I appreciate that. I love coming-of-age movies. But it's like, dude. People would define you in the most convenient way. He's so depressed, and I don't know how. To, I want to help him. And then, that's who you are. They say that when you grow up, Something inside you dies. Damn, getting deep. I'm still not sure if that's good or bad. When you're a child, shadows seem darker and lights seem brighter. Everything is more terrifying and more exciting at the same time. Hmm. I'm not gonna even tell. Like, I just, I. I think this is really well made. I think it's a really cool story. Ga as a game, it's a little weird, but like as a story. Oh no, what a shadow play. I mean, I'm, I'm already over time, so let's, let's just keep at it, right? These streams were originally two hours long when I first started doing these gaming streams, so you know what we're gonna keep going on. My my green screen is just like freaking, it does not like this white background. By the way, I didn't show you all my shirt. Oh my God, why did I not show you all my shirt? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Saber punk. See it? Get it? I freaking love this shirt. Sorry. Had to share. I realized that you guys couldn't see that. <laughs> Back to the game. Alright. What is shadow play? What is this based off of? Oh, it was ninja. Uh-oh, what are we about to get into here? Oh, no. All right. I guess I just need to, like, it's like a running and gunning kind of game. I can't charge my attacks here, though. Well, those hurt me. I just like ran into the two, three enemies.
It's like Temple Run or something. Oh, that hurt me. Wait, those are good. The blues are good. Okay. I was avoiding them. What is that? Like magic? Oh, shit. That got me. All right. Well, <laughs> that didn't go well. I see my health now. I don't I, I was avoiding the blues and I think that stressed me out. So I lost a lot of life cuz I was trying to avoid them, but they're good. They're good. That's not good. <laughs> uh. I need some help, though. These these blue energy things are nice, but like, can I get some help, please? <laughs> things let's just go for it again I can jump over things I, I forget I can do that that's nice to do sometimes blues are good <laughs> realize that now Fred thanks for the heads up <laughs> didn't realize it first oh, ran right in for it. I wonder if I get like a big power up by collecting these blue things. What can I do? What do I do? How do I use whatever power up this gave me? I mean, I think I used it. I don't think, I don't realize what I did, but I apparently used it. <laughs> Ah, I missed all those. All right, there we go. I don't know how you drop back down. I don't know what I'm supposed to use. How do I use whatever that thing is like I've been building up collecting the blue things? I don't know how I'm supposed to use it. Oh, God. What is this, like, Dragon Ball Z looking crap? <laughs> or is that Jesus? I just wish I knew how to use my, like, what is this blue thing I have fully charged? Oh, I killed whatever that was. I don't know how it's supposed to drop down. Oh, I did it, somehow. Oh, nope. Jesus guy. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I just like he looks like Jesus. Okay, got him. I, I'm not quite sure how to drop down. Okay, I did it. I think I figured it out. Oh shit, this is tough. Holy crap. Oh no, that was hard. That was hard, holy crap. All right. This game's tough, you know, for being something that's like story driven.
I think I figured it out. Ah, oh, no! That was my bad. That was my bad. Alright. I got I got the hang of it now, though. I, I can do this. Wow. As I run right into an enemy. Great start, Flippy. Great start. I didn't get him. Damn it. Like, my vision, I can't keep up with this. <laughs> uh. Got one life left. Ah, oh, no! This guy got me! This guy got me! Oh, where's he gonna put me? Ah, oh, back at the beginning again! Dang it! I could've sworn I would at least get, like, a checkpoint at some point. Ah! Ah, I jumped up. That was my bad. I jumped up. <laughs> I know, I know. Famous last words, right? I know. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it, so I'm going to keep going. If I wasn't streaming this, I would just be doing it on my own. I'm like, you know what? I can at least have fun with you guys while I'm trying to do better. <laughs> so y'all can either watch me suffer or watch me achieve greatness. How about that? See, look, I got this part down now. Ah, didn't go down far enough. Okay, you know what? That was not awful. That was not awful. Destroy the Jesus guy. Boy, ah, I ran right into it too. What the hell are those? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm not killing these people. Oh no, what what is this? This is like freaking what do you call that? Um Studio Ghibli shit. It's like switch from like a side scroller to like a it's like a falling. Oh, I was so used to collecting things. I was like, oh, let me get one of those. Oh wait, oh no, not doing great so far. Okay, got through there. No, Spirit Away. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. It was like, please don't reset me all the way over. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I definitely got some Spirited Away vibes from that. Oh shit. <laughs> so I was like, wait, I'm supposed to avoid those. Oh shit, but that was my bad. Alright, try again. I'm figuring out the patterns. I almost messed up the exact same spot again.
Oh, wait, what the hell? That was my bad. I got overconfident. I'm like, I'm gonna kill him. And I just killed myself. We'll not try that again. That will not happen again. <laughs> These guys just piss me off. Oh, well, that was my bad. Man, I keep screwing that up. Huh, okay. <laughs> DMC needs a refill, yeah, me too. But okay, I got this. I'm figuring it out as we go. Just wish there was another checkpoint sometime soon. Just let him do his thing. Oh, I just ran right into him. See, this is timing based. Ah, oh, fuck! That caught me off guard. Man, this is tough! This is tough. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It's it's so much fun, but it's tough. I'm sorry if it's repetitive, guys. I'm working on it. I feel like I get a little bit better every time. I'm getting dizzy, though. The whiskey's not helping in this situation. Look at me, look at me y'all. I'm doing well. I think I'm doing- Ah, oh, shit! I spoke way too soon right there. This reminds me of like Donkey Kong, like the freaking levels where you're like, ah, on the mine carts. Ah, I can't jump into those things. Oh no, no, damn it. I keep forgetting that you can't jump into those things that are like over your head. Man, I was so close. That was, okay, that was totally my fault. <laughs> Seriously, okay, I, I think for sure I'm gonna get it this time. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers for me. If I don't get it, I'm taking a shot of whatever, one of my samples that are in front of me, if I don't win this time. Just taking a random shot. Punishment. I would get a, uh, 
What am I taking a shot of? I should have got my fireball for punishment. <laughs> punishment. Um, you know what I'll take a shot of? All this stuff in front of me is really good. Oh, here we go. Some Michael Collins Irish whiskey. Punishment. This may give me the power I need to power through. I know, I gotta slide to evade. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Because you, you notice I don't use that very much. I use it at the beginning, and then I don't use it for the whole middle part. All right. New Sazerac Michael Collins. This is for my stream with Rock Gut Review. I know, I wish I would have brought my fireball. I totally would have done that as shots, but... Cheers, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna make it through it. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Oof. Oh. It's a funky Irish. Funky Irish. I drink about half of it. I'll drink the rest of it if I fail again. Let's see. Let's see. My eyes are not keeping up right now. <laughs> I think it's all the whiskey, I swear. It's not that I'm bad. It's, it's because I'm bad. But also, this is like hurting my eyes a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a new strategy. That was because I was drinking. <laughs> that didn't count. <laughs> I should just edit this down to make it look like I'm a badass and post it on Twitch. Like, oh yeah, I got that first try. What do y'all think? I'm like a noob or something? No offense, bourbon noob. That one always gets me. I always, ex I do not expect that ball to come rolling. Damn it! Balls get me. There's too many damn balls and spikies. No, it's not over. It's not over. I was so excited. I was so excited. All right. Oh, there's the freaking spirited away thing. That literally looks like the same monster, I swear. Oh, shit. Did I attack it? <laughs> oh, it's trying to kill me. It is trying to kill me. I don't know how to kill it. Oh, it got me, it got me, it got me. All right, well, hopefully I'll start there. Yeah, okay. I'm not starting all the way over. <laughs> Stop after this round. I'm 
watching. Oh, almost got hit there. I saw Fred say you gotta follow where the game leads you. I know, I know. Man, my speed is picking up. Oh wow, this is very fast now. He's very fast. Fuck! I jumped right into that one. Oh. One health left. Let's see. Is it over? Is it over? Oh, shit! That scared me. That actually scared me. That actually scared me. <laughs> uh, my green screen's acting up again, but... Got an achievement. Darklands. Do not shoot Irish whiskey. Jameson, maybe, but this I think this is like a hunter proofer or something like that. I used to love the weekends. Watching cartoons on early morning TV without a care in the world. I still love the weekends. Thank you, Zofar. I appreciate that. The whole family together. Free to do whatever we wanted to. Going for long rides in our car me falling asleep in the back seat and getting carried to bed when we got home. But then <laughs> My margarita is all watered down now, but I'm still going to drink it, damn it. And now, I wasn't sure our family would ever be able to put this back It's not that together. good anymore. Being home alone with mom Watching her too fall apart. So sad. I couldn't stand it. I had to go somewhere. Anywhere. I just had to get out. I used to fantasize about the city. Vaguely planning my escape, but never actually getting on the train. Appreciate the support in the chat. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Around at the video store. Seeking comfort in made up stories where I could pretend I was someone else. Favorite Saturday morning cartoon. Mom would always tell me to quit dreaming and get back into the real world. So, honestly, I don't have as much memories of Saturday morning cartoons as I remember, like, pre school, like that before night, school arcade, cartoons. Everything changed. Like, but they're not even cartoons, though. I feel like Bear in the Big Blue House was not a cartoon. Um, Courage is a Cowardly Dog, but that was, like, later at night. Those are like the types of things that I think of as Saturday morning. I know they're not typical Saturday morning cartoons, but like X Men. Yeah, well, I, I watched Pokemon too. When Pokemon the show, I watched a ton of that. That was also Saturday morning, I think. Kill screen. Uh oh. What are we playing? What are we playing here? I'm nervous, y'all. Slay three dragons to escape the maze. Oh shit! I am here for this. Oh no, what is this? Like an RPG? Oh my god, it is! Look! Oh my god. This is incredible. I actually never played games like this. Like, I'm familiar with them. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're gonna get me, they're gonna get me. Oh, I'm at 32 health points. What is beam? Ah, that didn't help. They healed themselves. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta slash them. Oh, no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, aren't I? They killed me. They killed me. Oh, no. 
All right, all right. Let's try that again. Push button to get up. What is the button I'm supposed to push? Don't start. I'm pushing button. I'm pushing all the buttons. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Let's go the other way. Ew. They're so much, like, better than I am. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm supposed to get it small and focused, right? But maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm supposed to do it the other way around. Oh, well, that didn't do well. That didn't work well. Push button to get up. What button? I'm pushing all the buttons. <laughs> okay. Let's go back the way we were going earlier. What is hack? Oh, that hurt them a lot. Okay, I'm gonna hack again. That seemed nice. They keep healing themselves. I have to heal myself. Ugh, they keep getting me. Okay, thank God. myself first. Oh wait, oh, wait I, was already, I was already fully healed. It restored my health. I didn't realize it was going to do that. This beam. Doesn't really hurt them much. Oh, I'm out of heals. Oh no. Oh no, they're going to get me. They're going to kill me. I'm dead. Damn it. What the hell? How do you even beat this? This is weird. Pushing all the buttons. All the buttons. I'm working on it. I'm gonna find my way out. There's a jelly. That was so easy to kill last time. Well, it's because I was trying to slash it last time. So different different enemies seem to have a different um Wow, rude. These guys get are very sensitive to getting slashed. You are error. That should be my new t shirt. <laughs> oh, I need to heal. Then what is it? Oh, it attacked first this time. <sighs> Need to heal. I haven't even slated dragon yet. Ah, oh, didn't kill it yet. Damn it. I got a last chance to kill it. Oh no, it's gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me. Why is it not dying? Oh, it killed me. Yo, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Maybe the green guys are different than the blue ones I was fighting earlier. Okay, all the buttons, all the buttons. See, these blue ones are different. The slash, they're super vulnerable against the slash. I 
I'm not healing myself. Maybe I sh you you can only heal yourself once per game, like once per round. Yeah, once per encounter. See, I should be able to get him the second one. He's dead. Okay. Its weakness is hacking. Okay. So these guys are weak to the hack, for sure. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I need to heal, for sure. <laughs> These guys, I don't know their weakness. I'm gonna try beam. Oh, definitely beam. What's up, Swan? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Swan sent me an awesome bottle and some sample earlier today. I was like, I'm just gonna take a risk and I'm just gonna try it. The greens are susceptible to hack. Thank you. Run Rev, you're awesome. Appreciate that. Oh, a dragon, a dragon. Oh, shit. I don't know how to, what, should I slash him? Ugh, that wasn't super effective. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Oh no. Oh no, he's not that does not work very well. Oh no. Oh, hacking, hacking the dragons. I'm gonna die now. Well now I know that the dragons the dragons are hacking. Dang it! How the hell did I kill three dragons? I barely got through one. Okay! Everyone was saying heal. I know, I know. I did it. I did it, okay? I got the, I got the moves. I forgot about this guy. What is his thing? Slashing? Or is it beaming? Yeah, beam. Oof. I see all those comments coming in. I'm sorry, there, there's a delay. So, like, I'm seeing them like a minute or two after I'm supposed to. <laughs> Y'all are trying to send them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit! Why didn't I heal? Yeah, Adriana, I'm working my way through this. This is definitely different. The other ones were like more like I could figure it out, but like now I'm just like, I'm struggling. These are where the dragons are, by the way. The little mini-map shows where the dragons are. Okay, these guys like getting hacked. Yeah, see, those are two hits. Those are so easy to kill. I gotta keep an eye on my HP, though. Oh, that was a perfect hit. 100. Oh, look how good that was. He even the same enemy, weird. That's a good point, Zopher says I need to heal if I'm damaged from the previous battle, because some, some of these attack first. These guys are pretty weak. Yeah, see, that's not that bad for damage. I think these are... Ah, uh, is it Slash? I think there's Slash. Yeah. Wow, that was nice. I'm doing my homework. I'm working on it. Okay, here's the dragon. They like to be hacked. to heal because if he does that again I'm screwed oh got him I got a dragon there's two more dragons there's 
I can get those guys on one hit now. No, I don't want to grow up. I like this. Okay, I'm fully healed, so I'm good. You know, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons either, and I have friends that play it, and I'm, I'm sad because I feel like left out because I also never had the chance to play it. So I right there with Adriana. We should freaking start up Dungeons and Dragons like for newbies because like I have no idea how to play it, but I'm just jealous of all my friends that do. What is he? He's the beam, right? He likes the beam. Yeah. He is alone, is that me? Probably. Oh, I gotta heal first. What are these guys like? They just like being hacked, right? I don't know if that was it. It may not have been it. What do these guys hate? Beam? Oh, thank God. But now I'm almost dead. Okay, I leveled up. Thank God. Yeah, I know. I need to heal. Another dragon. All right. Dragons. Oh, this one's an ice dragon. Though. Is he different? Oh, that didn't hurt him as much. It doesn't hurt him as much as the other guys. I'm gonna try something different. Oh, he's different. Okay, his his attacks are different. All right, can't go that way. I think this guy is a beam. So that last dragon is really far away, so I gotta work my way back to him. I'm over these stupid things. Yeah, the third dragon should be a third attack. I agree, Patrick. So last y'all advance. What was the third attack again? Which one should I use in the last dragon? And by the way, since there's such a delay, Make sure in your comments say third attack should be blank. Because <laughs> it's going to be a delay. Because I'm getting really close. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, where did I mess up? I had to go back. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a wall there. Damn it. Last dragon is Slash. I appreciate you. Thanks so much, Run Rev. <laughs> Alright, I gotta make my way back to that. There was a split up here that I made a decision to go one way. Here. Come in to help whoever is asking for help. Alright, let's see. This guy, I swear, I'm over him. I'm over him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoever's asking for help, I'm coming. Ah, oh, this stupid guy. Alright, I need to heal soon though. 
All right, final final dragon. Oof. Flash is absolutely his weakness. Oh, shit, I gotta heal. Oh, come on now. Maybe one more? Oh, we got him. We got all three dragons. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Fred. I think I did pretty damn good that time, though. Oh, what is this? This looks familiar. It's like Medusa. Oh, shit. Ooh. What do y'all think first attack against her? Beam slash or hack? Whatever, whatever y'all recommend is the first attack. Let's do it. I'm just gonna sit here and drink whiskey until y'all tell me what to do. I'll wait till the first comment comes in. See was, who has the least amount of lag tonight. <laughs> okay, Don Donnie is saying I heal at this point. Do you think I used my heal already? Okay, two people say heal. Fred says hack. Let's let's heal though. I heard a lot of people say heal. Let's heal. Not for you. I can't heal. I cannot heal. It wouldn't let me do it. It said not for you. Holy crap, we're gonna hack. Oh no, nothing. It's like phone home. Oh no. Oh, that took one health away from it. Oh my god, denied? Oh my- oh no, it's not an option anymore. I'm trying to survive, dude. Oh no, I, got, I only got one more beam. Just freaking give him the gym beam. Just give it to him. Oh fuck. I can't. I'm dead. I am dead. Oh no, my health. Oh no. Oh, the feels. Achievement unlocked, blackout. She doesn't like Jim Beam. I know, I know. I tried to offer. That's my last little gift. I'm like, I'll just give her some Jim Beam at the end. Well, damn. What happened that night? I honestly couldn't say. Me either, dude. Me either, kid. <laughs> I was still there, but nothing was the same. Am I picking myself up off the ground? Oh, it's my character. Is he gonna give me my motivation I need? All the pieces from tonight. There's one of the bad guys over there. He's got his freaking bat. Watch out for this dude. The game was not over. It was just beginning. Think we just beat the game, guys. Think we beat it. I love to be continued. Okay, I love these short things. I don't know. I just I I have a short attention span. So if a game has like a 25-hour story, 
whether if it's a good one, I'll obviously get into it. Like, it, but there's certain games where like I just can't get into the story. This one though, what should have been an hour gameplay was two hours. But I appreciate y'all sticking through. I just got an achievement called Continue? Question mark. I will investigate further at another time what that continue means. What did y'all think? I thought that was pretty fun. It was interesting and that's nah, my trash can. Um, I had fun. I hope y'all like that. That was fun. Um, let's go ahead and wrap up here. Is there anything after the credits? What the what? I know, I know. It's short. It's short. I warned you guys. It's short. But that's how these Saturday streams go. So cheers, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. This was fun for me. Hopefully it was fun for you. I will see you on Thursday. I'm going live with Matt from the Whiskey Crusaders. We are doing a Texas whiskey flight. So we will be doing 12, I think 12 different Texas whiskeys potentially. So it should be fun. This is my final preparation for Matt Madness, which starts on Friday, next Friday, the 30th. Please tune in to ADHD Whiskey if you're not yet subscribed to him. Go subscribe to him. Turn on notifications because I'm going live against Chad from It's Bourbon Night. Um, but yeah, mood focus, not plot focus. I'll get you so far. I agree. <laughs> it was it was still fun though. I'm glad I'm glad I did it for the stream. So, anyways, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on Thursday. If you missed it, I did a review of the new Barstool Bourbon Company Prisoner. That went live yesterday, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out on my channel. And also, if you've stuck around this whole time and you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It really does help. We are less than 150 subs subscribers from 3,000. So, appreciate appreciate you guys. Donnie said he's going to do a hangout on Discord. I probably will not because I need to sober up because I've been drinking a lot. Y'all know when it's like three days back to back, I just can't. <laughs> I, did, I did my stream on Thursday. On Friday, I had my local group do a hangout, and then now it's like... I need a break, but y'all feel free to hang out on Discord. Um, if you're not on the Discord, bourbonbites.com. You can join our Discord. Everyone's welcome. Um, Donnie will be in the Sipping Lounge hanging out uh, if y'all want to go join him. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. Cheers. I'm Clifton, and I'll see you guys next gaming stream. Maybe. I'll see you before then, but hopefully you like this. Cheers. <laughs>